Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Ooch, back again once again with a uh, quick update video, kind of, uh, yeah, I guess we'll talk about it for a little bit, because uh, we haven't talked about this in a while. Um, and the reason why I'm doing this on this channel and not on my video games channel, which I will most likely be covering the rest of the events that will come from this update, uh, probably, but, uh, yeah, I mean, aside from the uh, good morning vibes and the uh, just good vibes in general, of course, I had to put on that little Pfizer. We could uh, get through this in peace. Um, but yeah, as you see on the screen in front of you, I tweeted this morning that Jump Force is getting DLC. And not only just that, but they're also getting a Switch port. Deemably called, uh, if that's even a word, uh, the Deluxe Edition. So take that as... As you will, Jump Force is getting DLC. And it looks like we're getting characters, at least five more. I'm not sure uh, what each anime, as far as what we see on the screen, is getting. I'm not sure if this is it or if they're going to get more. But as of right now, My Hero Academia, Hunter x Hunter, Yu Yu Hakusho... Bleach and JoJo's Bizarre Adventure are each at least getting one other character. With My Hero Academia's being revealed in this recent update, and that being Shoto Todoroki. Now, aside from that, from the uh, from the scan here, there's a lot of things that are not translated. Um, like I said, this is like early morning when this is being um, revealed, so. Once the translations are up, definitely follow me on Twitter so that you guys can uh, check out the translations once once those go live. I don't understand how to read Japanese completely yet, um, but as far as you know, you know, showing some obvious screens here of you know the move set and you know he's got some ice glacier stuff. He's got some uh, fire going. Some it looks probably special. So I mean, visually, I'm sure it's gonna look great. Because Jump Force visually is visually is a, is a great looking game, right? It looks like we might get some, I don't know, like some uh, customize, customizable character, um, like new options as far as like your gear or your outfit goes. Because I, I don't think these outfits were there before. So they might be new considering that they're displaying them in this news update. Um, but yeah, of course, if you guys don't know, which I'm sure most of you do. Jump Force is a is Shonen Jump's like 50th anniversary uh, collaboration or collaborative memory type of celebration game, which they normally will release every so often. Not really often, but like whenever there's like a some <clears throat> excuse me sometime a yearly milestone. So for 50 years, I mean to 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 release a, a game like this is uh is kind of nor is, is kind of the norm we have we've had other jump related games during anniversary time periods like uh j stars jump ultimate stars which is my personal favorite and it's probably still the best jump crossover game um so yeah we have this news todoroki and the uh switch port the deluxe edition subtitle and apparently this is all slated to come out later this year i see the 2020 sticker on everywhere you look on these on the on this ad here so not really sure man not really sure i, I mean I'm, i i know exactly why the game is getting uh more dlc despite the obvious um dislike from the majority of you know gamers and anime fans alike but at the end of the day, this is exactly what I've been kind of trying to educate you guys on. It is that even if the game sucks, no matter what, as long as it sells well, which it did, we are going to potentially just see more games like this. And the obvious, the obvious thing here is that, you know, further support of the game that's already out. I mean... The fact that they're now going to try and take advantage of boosting their sales more. They're putting it on the Switch. They're, they're putting it on the Switch. So, I don't know. It's crazy to think. It's crazy to even talk about. 
my thoughts on this is just like it's i'm i'm almost not surprised but at the same time i'm just like for a game like this to be like one of their biggest cash cows you know exploiting anime fans that you know don't necessarily really uh care too much about balanced gameplay and mechanics that make sense and a story mode that's actually uh taken care of with you know tender loving care not like something that they kind of just threw together and said here you go here's here's a game for the sake of doing it so that they can make some money it's just it's just a real shame i mean you know from the from the beginning the game itself looked looked amazing it looks amazing the gra we've never seen graphics for an anime game like this i mean Dra dragon ball fighters probably has the probably the best anime type looking graphics as far as like uh like a game that took an anime ip and it's a, it's a it's an actual success like it has three seasons worth of dlc people are still playing it you know there there's a world tour going on or there was at least and uh and that's obviously due to the you know the obvious uh you know we're all staying at home for a reason right we all know what's going on and uh aside from that i mean the uh demon slayer game is actually that looks literally like they're taking the anime and they're sticking it in the game and 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 like we're just we're gonna be able to uh you know control like what like what the anime like the an like those visuals and those graphics look so closely to its to its original we haven't seen anything like it like ever so i'm i'm really excited about that but as I'm looking at this, I'm not gonna lie. Actually, I don't know if down here this has, this this number means anything. I'm not sure if this means like nine more characters. That's just kind of like context clues because I see DLC and as you see the number nine, I'm just like, oh no. And speaking of Demon Slayer, I'm actually surprised that Demon Slayer is not, at least not yet, they're not considering throwing in Tanjiro because he is a part of Shonen Jump Weekly. So I mean, if if there's if there's any belief or hope for those that are actually really really excited for this bit of news then yeah I, I would say demon slayer has a shot i mean if they could put boruto and black clover have each have one representative and and that to me was a big surprise because i was like wow if they put boruto and asta like i'll actually be really happy and they made it in same with deku and my hero had has like mad dlc they have all my and bakugo and now they haven't. Now they have Todoroki, so they have they have four characters. You know, it, it. I I feel like characters, or I'm sorry, anime that get more characters in a game like this. It's representative of their popularity, and clearly, JoJo's Bleach, Yu Yu, and Hunter Hunter. Like, come on now, that it's obvious. Like, there's it's not like they're giving more Boruto characters. Like, they're they're gonna go for the IPs that literally make them more money that's how this that's how this whole game works but ah oh man this is crazy guys this is crazy Todoroki Jump Force is still alive and kicking but you know what my bias aside if you if you're actually genuinely happy for this then good for you I just I'm me personally like I all I'm here to do is obviously to report the news um and to obviously point you guys to my other video game channel because if you know like i said when i actually just recently met, hit a sub goal on my twitch and it was totally a meme because my chat and my discord they love to troll me and they were like if you hit 47 subs you have to play jump force again and i haven't played jump force in a very long time and for, for a good reason and what do you know, recently because of all this Final Fantasy 7 hype and me no lifing the game completely, I straight up could not believe I had somebody in there gift like over 20 subs to people to hit my goal. So now we're at like 50 something and I have to play Jump Force. So yeah, there you go. <sighs> so yeah, so... Hit me up on Twitch and the other channel because, you know, if I'm going to be playing the game, I might as well take advantage of the time I have to waste <laughs> and uh, make some content from it. Because who knows? Who knows? I don't think these this, these DLC updates are going to also insinuate some kind of a balance patch or anything like that. If they're going to fix any of the current 
like problems with the game. I don't think that's what they're going to do at all. I think the entire purpose of this is just to make more money. Naturally. With any video game company, if your game is very successful, you know, to a degree whether or not it has a lot of heat online and I'm, and the heat as in bad heat, you know, for the record. You know, it, it's is one of those things where if they hit the margins and it sells well, doesn't matter. There's a chance that they could they could put more into it so they could make a little bit more. So they could they could, you know, just make another dollar or two off of us, you know what I'm saying? But I personally actually have not gotten the first uh, iteration of DLC, even though there are characters that are on that DLC roster that I would love to play as, like Kaiba and Grimjow. Those are just to name a few. But, uh, you know. I mean, admittedly, Todoroki looks pretty dope. I would love to play Todoroki. And honestly, looking at this thing, like... He is, he should be the fucking cover of the Jump Force game. I mean, look, Jump Force got, like, the fire and the lightning, right? I know Todoroki doesn't do lightning, but it's, like, you know, red and blue, hot and cold. You know what I'm saying? He just looks like he, he, would, he would be perfect on that cover, but whatever. All that aside, guys, you're getting more DLC for Jump Force, whether you like it or not. So let me know what you guys thought about this in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Make sure to follow me on my Twitch and on my other YouTube channel for more video game coverage, especially on the anime department. But yeah, like I'm here because, you know, this is a very anime, uh, anime defined, no, I, wanna, what, I, wanna, what, I don't even know what I'm saying. Very more, it, my channel is more known for its anime content. There you go. So yeah, so that's why I'm here reporting it on here. Um, so I feel, so that way, you know, the word gets out there faster than it would on my YouTube, my other YouTube channel for video games, but definitely subscribe to me on there too as well. I'll see you guys on stream because I'll be playing this fairly soon. Ha ha ha. Yay me. Have a good one. Take care of yourself. Stay clean. Stay inside. Keep your, keep your lock loaded right here on the Hoochie Games channel. I'll see you guys next time.